look, I wanted to, to support um, other colleagues, and in particular Senator uh, Coach Keane, who was responsible for setting up the model school for the deaf with Brian, Brian Queen, who is currently in the uh, Irish Deaf Society. And, um, you know, I think she's modest in her comments about her involvement. And also, I'm very encouraged to hear what Senator Gilroy had to say about uh, his meeting with the minister yesterday. And just because ministers don't drop um, their, the, w w the work that they're doing doesn't mean that they're not, uh, to come into this house and debate an issue with us, doesn't mean that they're not actively working on an issue. And I've every confidence that advocacy, advocacy services will be reinstated as they should be uh, in the near future. Um, I rise to um, mention an issue which I've mentioned on numerous occasions before, which is that of roaming charges in the EU. And in recent months, we've seen the price of roaming across Europe fall as a consequence of work being done by the EU Commission. Just two weeks ago, in fact, we saw a cap being put on data roaming across Europe, which would see people working or browsing the web abroad be capped at 20 cents uh, per megabyte. In, uh, in, in my opinion, this is still too much, but it's still serious pro uh, progress as it has reduced from approximately 80 cents per megabyte by, about a year ago. But I'm, I'm disappointed to see that telecoms company, <laughs> companies, and I suppose it should come as no big surprise, but that they are looking to every loophole possible in the legislation um, and, and don't seem so keen to embrace, even though they say that they are, they don't seem so keen to embrace the pro-consumer, pro-business, pro-tourism moves of the EU on this front. And there, you know, there are lots of different instances, for example, when people tether, which I didn't know what that was until, to, until I, I read more into it, but people who use their mobiles to allow their iPads to browse the internet. And basically they're being charged about five euros a day. So without going into the details of it, it just seems that loopholes are being used by telecoms uh, companies and I would um, be very supportive of the EU Commission's continuing uh, push in this area to quash roaming fees and ensure that pro-consumer, uh, uh, pro pro-business pro uh, move is fully implemented, which is the intention of the policy and legislation being produced by the EU. Thank you.